This video describes the use and setup of the SAV04 for use for small animals between 100 grams and 60 kilograms, as will be described. The SAV04 is a very simple, easy to use small animal ventilator. It uses a standard T piece configuration and basically functions as, as an automatic thumb. Uh, whereas in the past, to ventilate a patient on a T piece, you would occlude the valve at the bag, squeeze it with your hand to inflate the patient. SAV04 now does that for you in an automatic and a very controlled way. This video is designed to just show you the features and some of the uh, user setup options and to familiar, familiarize yourself with uh, the SAV04. I want to start with the valve um, connection uh, because this is often a bit of a source of confusion. The SAV04 has a single valve which connects into the back using a nine-way D-type connector. These connectors must be screwed tight to avoid uh, dislodging during surgery. Um, if it does become dislodged, there is a, um, an alarm that will uh, sound to alert you, but it's good to have these tightened up before you start. The valve may be exchanged or repaired during a warranty, in which case the valve will need to be zeroed to the machine when you receive it back. To zero the, zero the valve, you turn the unit on, keeping the, um, the left-hand knob pressed in. The normal screen comes on, the user data comes on, and then a screen that says auto calibration. Connect valve and press right knob to continue. So you make sure the valve is connected, there's no pressure or air flowing in the system, and press this right hand knob. That creates a um, valve calibration. It says zero here at the bottom, and we're now ready to run. The unit's very simple in its concept. We have here what is essentially a T-piece uh, circuit. Incoming gas coming from a uh, fresh gas outlet from your anaesthetic machine into this special T-piece, uh, off to the patient, and then off to, to the uh, waste and recovery. Our patient is connected here. When we go to the ventilate mode, a little solenoid here closes off this exit port. Incoming gas must then inflate the patient. The patient's chest is inflated with the incoming gas until we reach the pressure that's been set on the screen. When that pressure is reached, the little valve opens here and allows the animal to breathe out passively through the exit port. A timer then controls how long between this valve staying open and closing again. When the valve closes at the end of the expiratory time, the whole process repeats. <coughs> I'm going to show you a demonstration of how this works using Leo the model. We're going to flow some gas in and inflate the chest and set it as a target pressure. So with our patient connected and our target pressure set to 12, ventilation is currently off. With the incoming gas flow as a normal T-piece flow rate, we simply push the valve to ventilate. The incoming gas starts to inflate the chest and the airway pressure is seen to rise on the bar graph on the screen. When it reaches the value of 12, the valve opens and Leo breathes out normally. So we have inspiration, expiration. Inspiration, expiration. The nice thing about the SAV04 over and above the SAV03 is that we're now able to measure the inspiratory time. And because we know the inspiratory time, we can calculate the respiratory rate, and these are displayed on the screen. In use, the ventilator controls here on the left and the right, control the airway pressure and the expiratory time. A nice feature of the SAV04 is if you turn these knobs during ventilation, there are no changes to the circuit, no changes to the timings, and then no change to the behavior. And as you saw, the number went back to 12 even though I changed the knobs. To effect a change, you would turn the knob to your desired position and then press it to effect the change. Same with the expiratory time here set to one second. If we turn the expiratory time up to two seconds, it flashes to say it's changed but not set. And if I don't push the button, it'll go back to one. So change it to two, we put it to two, push the button and it stays at two. The little red light here is showing when the valve is closed and when the valve is open. 
When the valve is closed, the chest inflates, the valve opens, and the animal expires. The IPPV here shows that me, uh, mainly we are in ventilating mode. If I push this here, we go to off, and the animal is able to breathe spontaneously, just as in a standard TP circuit. The beep you hear can be quieted or muted by pushing and holding the right hand knob. And return to use by pushing and holding the right hand knob again. Alarms can similarly be muted or silenced by pushing and holding the left hand knob. And these two are independent, so beeps may be allowed or disallowed, alarms may be allowed or disallowed. There are very few alarms on the uh, SAV04. One is patient disconnect. So if Leo was to become disconnected to a normal use, we would have this situation and the animal, the ventilator would attempt to inflate the animal and see no back pressure after a while or sound an alarm to say no breath. As you see, the no breath alarm is displayed on the screen and we have a repeating alarm sounding. To cancel the alarm, but to leave the, the message on the screen, Press and hold the left hand knob like that, and now the alarm continues to be shown, but there's no auditory warning at all. That brings it back. Reconnecting will allow inflation to occur, and the alarm will self clear, and now it's clear. Stop ventilating, press the IPP volume, uh, IPV uh, button. That really concludes most of the features of the um, use of the ventilator. The other part now to just look at the setup. One thing that can be constraining when using the SAV04 or the SAV03 is the proximity of the patient to this valve. Moving the valve inevitably moves the patient and makes it difficult, particularly if the patient is small. In those instances, you should use the SAV03 or SAV04 extension kit, and I'll show you how that works. The SAV04 extension kit is simply a flexible connector and a stopper. The connector connects into the where the uh, ET tube would go normally, and the fresh gas flow is removed from the oxygen supply on the valve and the stopper is used to stop that, that port. So this port is now closed off. We will then apply the incoming gas to the new end of the T-piece, which we've now formed here. And in so doing, this is now our dead space, no bigger than it was before, and so we can use this on animals, again, down to, um, uh, with this circuit, down to maybe a kilo. If we connect Leo here, we will see that the circuit performs exactly as before. Okay, the nice thing now is this is able to move without the animal being disturbed and vice versa. This can be moved without the, animal being, uh, without the valve being disturbed. This is great for animals I explained up to about, or down to about one, one and a half kilos. For animals below that, and for particularly small animals, we should use the small, uh, the low dead space adapter kit. The low dead space adapter kit is also supplied with every um, SAV04 that we, we supply. And this is very simple to use as well, but it does replace the existing circuit. The SAV04 extension kit has a fresh gas supply connector that fits on the fresh gas supply here. and comes down to a tiny T-piece here. This T-piece has a lure-sized connector here for connecting to angiocaths, Tomcat catheters, that sort of thing to enable you to make your own endotracheal tubes for those smaller animals. The control is affected by connecting this connector into the SAV04 valve. 
So now we've created really another T-piece circuit, but one with a very, very small dead space. Because this is too large, Leo is too large for the system, I'll simply place my finger over the end of this to simulate um, closing the area for uh, ventilation. I turn the flow rate down to slow down the inspiratory time, we see that we get the normal, normal action as before. This small rubber area here with the white dot is an area where you can place a, or put, pass through a green 23 gauge needle and connect that to your capnograph sampling for side stream sampling and still obtain capnogram waveforms from this tiny uh, T-piece connector. The new SAV04 valve is a plastic bodied valve which has been modified compared to the SAV03 valve to allow use on larger animals. <coughs> the construction is much the same. Incoming gas comes into this port and waste gas is taken from this port. The major difference between the two uh, metal the two valves, the metal valve and this valve, is the ex exit orifice. The exit orifice in this one is now 12 millimeters diameter compared to the 5 millimeters diameter in the SAV03 metal valve. What this means is that if you are prepared to use high gas flow rates, then you can use a T-piece configuration for animals up to about 60 kilograms. Where this is useful is in the rare instances where you need to ventilate something like a 40 to 50 kilogram animal but don't have another ventilator to hand. In those cases, connect the TP circuit as normal but set your fle uh, fresh gas flow rate according to an animal of 40 to 50 kilograms. This will mean probably a fresh gas flow rate of something of the order of 8 to 10 litres to achieve a 1 to 1.5 second inspiration time. And that in itself will use a lot of gas. However, for those practices that have oxygen concentrators or oxygen generators where fresh oxygen is cheap, this is a very simple way of using the SAV04 for larger animals. Not that I would advocate it for long-term use, but for those circumstances where a simple means of ventilating mechanically and uh, repeatedly and safely a 40 to 50 kilogram animal is required, then this valve is now designed to do it.